headed to the night gig. It's uh, 9 o'clock now, and I'm supposed to be there at 9. I had a honeydew. I couldn't uh, get If I turn right here, I'll be there in uh, three minutes. So I'm doing okay. Stand by. Shade after nine. Nine fifty four. I got a, a bench made. Hunting knife. See if I can see the model number. Stand by. This thing should focus in. There you go. It's a 140. Like 33 quarters straight and a little bit of serrations. It's all homework. I dropped them off so I pick them up next Saturday. The second knife is a... I don't know what it is. Just looking at it, it looks like a SOG. Hold on a minute. I was mistaken. It's a cold steel master hunter is called. He's got them in pretty good shape. But he wants me to polish them up a little bit. The second one is says Canada. Yes ma'am, it's very important. Gresham, number four, stainless, Russell, stand by. You know, she's like, why are there rainbow sprinkles all on your teeth? I don't know. I can't uh, say the first part of it. But the second part says D.H. Russell, number four, stainless. Another hunter. Nice looking knife. The edges are rolled over on it bad, but it's pretty sharp in some places. Another just clean up a little bit. So I got three hunters. And then, another fellow just dropped off one, another bench made. Hold on a minute. Bench made 550. Mel Parker design. She's got, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but she's got a major chip just in front of the serrations. The Cali will like it. This knife right here, the can Canadian knife, has a really nice leather sheath that came with it. It's all one piece of leather. It's not two pieces. It's folded over right here, sewed up there. Got an ear flap made from one side. It lips over the knife. The belt loop is one piece. It goes up here, makes a little taper, comes back down, and sticks back through on an ear. That's the first one I ever seen like that. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat right there. Okay. Looks like it's going to be a homework kind of day. I got a lady just dropped off a set of these big cut code kitchen scissors. But I don't want them till next week. I said, okay, dokie. Home they'll go. I'm sharpening that big uh, bench made hunting knife now. That 140, I think it was. Coming along nice, too. Singer. In the band. Taquito.
Another one, as we speak. You ain't gonna believe what I'm gonna show you in a minute. Nobody wants the knives back today. They won't want me to bring them back next Saturday. Which is okay with me. I'm not complaining. It's very odd. This knife is... This is one of... This knife is one of... Uh, I don't know. The guy brought me so many knives, I, I don't know how many he brought me. Most of them were pocket knives. One of them was an antique Puma, which I'll show you in a minute. Case knife. I'll show you all of them. But this one he had to have this morning. Then another guy brought me these three knives right here. Actually brought me, he brought me these four. But he had to have this one this morning. Ergo Chef, German stainless. But wait till you see what's in that bag right there. That's part of this deal right here. I'll show you more in a minute, stand by. We're having a fantastic, wait a minute, let me show you something really nice. Check this baby out. Sushi knife. That's going home to sharpen. Along with another one. Got two more. Out of Henkel. Looks like China. Henkel. International. And a Cuisinart. Santuca Cuisinart. Well, we're shutting down the end of the gig. Uh, that's the guy that's coming by in a few minutes to pick up those two knives. I wanted to share with you what that one guy brought while I'm here before I go home. Stand by a minute, let me get it out. Okay, here he is right here. I did one knife for him. While he waited, one pocket knife. He said he couldn't be without all his knives. He works in, in the capital during the week, comes home on the weekends. This was his most proudest knife. Someone gave him this knife, original Puma made in Germany. He said this was a, a fender whoever got this from. Father carried this in Vietnam. He's one of, she's, see she's really got some scratches in her. And the blade is in kind of terrible condition. But I don't see any chips or anything in it. Should, uh, should sharpen up and polish up. Okay. That's his prized possession he called it. He rides a motorcycle apparently so, and this is his boot knife. Just a cheap Chinese, oh, excuse me, Taiwan, Taiwan, little boot knife he calls it. And he's got some kind of necker. Triumphant neck. Oh, it's a CRKT, Columbia River. He's dull. Then he's got a Gerber flipper. Serrated 50 50. Tano, Titano. So, what else have we got? We got a Kershaw. We have a Smith and Wesson. We have a multi bladed Boy Scout knife. Original Boy Scout knife. That's pretty cool. And we have another Kershaw. Yes, that's what it is. Another Kershaw. Okay, I gotta get ready to go home. Stand by. All right, well, you've seen these before. I've got all the other homework knives in the shop. I just want to bring you up to speed on these. Stand by. Okay. He brought me uh, six knives. One I sharpened for him so he could carry home and use. And he brought me three kitchen knives, they're mundials, made in Brazil. I mean, one of these. And this is an old Chicago cutlery. 
not too bad. And this one says made in USA lamp sun stainless steel. Pretty good. Then he brought me two fine Japanese knives. I can't read Japanese, but I don't think I like it. You, uh, you saw this earlier, chisel ground knife here. Flat on the back. Thin, light. Mm. And here we have an old carbon fiber, I mean, <laughs> carbon steel knife. She's in bad shape. She needs to clean it up, polish it, sharpen it. I'm not sure how those dark spots will come out. Somebody's tried to do something to it there. You can see the difference in it. We'll see how the buffer and the polish goes. Stand by. See what this note is. Two Japanese sushi folded steel. In the box is 8 inch. That's his name. 8 inch in box blue okay these I gotta take back on Tuesday the other ones don't go back till next Saturday and all the pocket knives you saw they don't go back till Saturday after next stand by I'm expecting a report from Denny on the land of Nala him and uh, low tide Tim went down this morning about 8:30 or 9 or uh, I think the one o'clock low tide supposed to be bad this afternoon but right now it's holding steady at okay okay back to work the cali